What's up, YouTube? This is Arlie Yoshi, as usual. I'm Max, and this game is so scary. Welcome to more Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. Last time we, uh, ooh, hello, mouse. You're mine. Last time we took care of a fair amount of stuff on the second floor. We beat, uh, Neville, I think his name is, and Lydia, you know, the two ghosts that were in those rooms. We got the key for this room, and we heard crying coming from it, so let's go see what's inside. Money. Ah, a baby! This should be easy. Let's see what the baby has to say. Uh. Horsey Rocky. Horsey. Well, at least we're getting a hint this time. But first, I'm just gonna... Yep. Uh, for, yeah, that's always a good location to get yourself a big heart, which does a lot of health. So let's make the horse rock. Apparently he doesn't like that. Oh, hello. Hey, wanna play with me? Uh. Eat ball. Ow. Really? Ow! You gave me an owie! I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown ups. Why do you have to be bigger than me? I've had enough. Small, now go smaller, small, itty tiny little wee ga ga go go ga. Well, now we're in the crib or something, <laughs> and we are pretty small. Oh, Luigi's uh, Luigi's man, it can't be that bad. It's just some rocking horses. Calm down, there, buddy. Oh. Okay, tiny dude is big now. Tiny dude is big now. Wink. Baby! Punch! Alright. Now we gotta be on the careful lookout for those rocking horses. Fortunately, they're actually pretty easy to dodge. Uh, they'll kind of go to where you're currently standing, and then they'll fly at you, but you can easily walk out of the way. And then... In comes the balls. And you know what we did before? We gotta do that again. So let's just grab this and... How you get the ranks here is a lot different because I'm pretty sure these boss ghosts, it's like impossible to actually get them in... Like get 90 health in one suck. It's actually, in this one, it's based on the amount of health you have at the end of the boss fight. Uh, I think it's like 90 or above is gold. 60 or above is silver, and then the other is bronze or something, I don't know, it's, it's something like that. Point being, if you go into this with a small amount of health, you're already going to be SOL, at least in terms of the rank. However, if you can avoid getting hit, which is actually pretty easy in this one, uh, aside from maybe these balls because they go around like crazy, and yes, they can't hurt you, it's, it's like that, um, not too difficult, uh, as long as you have at least 90. But now, let's start this. Come on. You also gotta be careful because sometimes when you're getting sucked up, if you, like, end up ramming into them, you will take a bit of damage. That's how I went from 95 to 94. Now we got the bouncing baby... guy... thing. Just in case you can't and don't know, by the way, this, this guy... this kid's name is Chauncey. So we've got Neville, Lydia, and Chauncey. If I remember, I'll... no, oh, now they're going fast. If I remember, I'll be saying the, uh names of the ghosts as we come to them, but I might forget. And for this one, just stay still. <laughs> or the very least, or stay in the middle, rather. Because they will just go by you otherwise. He's trying to trick you. He's playing mind games. Alright, only one of these even sticks around, I think. So, come to me, and... Oh, come on. He, had five, he has five health left. You gotta be kidding me. I agree. Nyanyo! Nyanyo! Alright. Now he brings in the horses. And now I stand in the middle. Now the balls. I gotta be really careful here. If I, if I want that gold rank. Okay. I might still be able to get it. If I'm really good. 
Come on. And you're mine! We did it! And that magically puts us back up here. Whew. Alright. I'm gonna grab the heart here again, just because. I don't know. Maybe it'll help. Give me that. Okay. And we get a pink heart key. We also have exactly 100 coins. Hmm? Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I lost contact with you all of a sudden. I was a tad worried. Hmm, you seem to be a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you? Why don't you come on back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss ghost, your Poltergeist 3000 gets pretty much full to bursting. But, oh, I guess you showed that boss ghost who's boss. I probably could have put this at the end of last episode, but, eh. Um, wait, uh, but, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> okay, uh, that's not supposed to happen, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> Good job, Luigi, you made it back in one piece. Take a gander at this, and now the camera's screwed up. Take a gander at this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the Gorse Ghost Portrificate... Portrificate... The thing. This machine lets us turn the ghost you catch into paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse, too. Hmm? How do we use it, you ask? Well, it's simple. Just plug that Poltergeist 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. Alright, camera's fixed now, sort of. Yeah, it's fixed. Because of the angle change. The lighting seems weird. I don't know if it was always like this or if it's just messed up because of that glitch or what. The ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible forms, and presto, turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. Gold on all of them except Lydia. Ah, oh, well. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. We did it! Da -da -da. We caught Neville, or, yeah, Neville, Lydia, and Chauncey. Uh, the, the picture itself actually changes based on your rank. Uh, basically, the best way to explain it is that at bronze rank, it looks terrible. At silver rank, the ghost looks mad. And at gold rank, the ghost is like, yeah, yeah, you're cool. Like, uh, with Chauncey at silver rank, he would have his screaming face that we saw. Whereas right now, he kind of looks happy, almost, or at least in a happy area. You've caught a total of three ghosts. As you can see, based on all of this money now, I'm going to let it all go through. Just kind of show you all the stuff that's there. In total, we have acquired 5,280,000 G. I'm just going to say dollars because let's face it, that's pretty much what it is. Apparently, the dollar bills are worth a lot, though. 84 makes over a million dollars. Man, if only. Uh, yeah, let's save. Alright, now we're going to head back to the mansion. we got to get back to work now. And now that we have that key... We can open this door now. I'm going to show something real quick first, though, because I didn't do it before. Uh, hang on. That's a nice chandelier, isn't it? Simply delightful. Alright, how do I... How does this activate, actually? Yeah, what's in yeah. here? Yeah. There's like a thing, I thought, where like, if you walked under it, sometimes a chandelier would fall on you, and I don't actually remember what causes it. Watch out! Huh. Let me go up there and vacuum it, just to see if I get anything from it. I distinctly recall that being a thing, though. Ah, money! Money galore. My money now. But yeah, uh, also that, the money does not actually, uh, like, it updates on the side there, but it will not actually update uh, on your save file until you catch a ghost. Hey! Which is a little annoying, but whatever. Let's unlock this door with our heart key. 
Open the watermelon door handle. And we enter into the first floor hallways. Alright. Let's uh, start walking around and see what we can see. If I, let me check the map real quick. What doors are currently... Oops. What doors are currently open? Uh, there's the far... There's over there. Uh, pretty much nothing is open right now. Which is... Oh, no, no, no. This one's open. No, it isn't. My bad. Uh, this way? Oh, wait. Down here? No. Okay. Buddy, go away. Man, I guess technically this one's open. Are we supposed to be in here? I know there's a speedy spirit in here, but I don't think we can actually do stuff here yet. Breaker room. Uh, it's a speedy spirit here? No. Where is it? Is it in these barrels? Ah, oh, there you are. And you got a sapphire from that one. Now let's vacuum up the rest of this. Alright. Pretty much done in there now. Not that's taken care of. We can't do anything else in the breaker room. We can't actually catch enough ghosts to make it light just yet. We'll be back there soon, though. Uh, for now, I'm just... Okay, buddy. Yeah, those things have zero HP. They just kind of come down to just... Freak you out, basically. Uh, can't go through there. Can't go through there. Check this again real quick. Uh, because my memory is... Oh, right. I think... Oh, yeah. We can go all the way over here. Stupid me. So, I think we can enter this. Perfect. You're new. You guys are new. Please stop hugging me. These are, like, grabbing ghoulies or something. Grabbing ghouls, I don't know. Point being, they grab onto you and make you lose health. Because, you know, you've been grabbed by the ghoulies. <laughs> Looks like you've run into a bit of trouble there. Maybe you need more training. There are some ghosts who will try to grab and hold you. If that happens, try moving your control stick back and forth to shake them off. It's the age-old struggle for survival, my boy. Don't lose heart, Luigi. And we get a key. Now this is the key we need. And it opens the door all the way down there. Uh, I could walk down there, but I want to show something off. Just in case you aren't aware of this, if you were to use your thing on a mirror, uh, you go on a drug trip, and then you're back here in the foyer. So it's an easy way to get out of areas, usually. Just kind of a shortcut back. Buddy, okay, there we go. Being a little bit, uh... Glitchy and laggy during this. We've got some shy guys here. Take your masks. I completely missed that. Okay, can I please? It takes so long. It takes a while. It takes a second for the freaking light to start shining. There we go. What? How did I only grab one of them? Ball. Oh, whatever. I don't know if this is canonically what they look like under their masks or not, but, I mean, to be fair, those aren't the usual masks that Shy Guys tend to wear, so. Alright, you're mine. And that's mine. <laughs> okay, yeah, the, I, I am not a fan of the Shy Guys, honestly, because... Just in general, I'm really not a fan of them in this game. Alright, grab one of them at least. Yeah, this takes a little while. At least for me it does. It takes a while when you when you suck. Oh, 
especially when you can only do them one at a time, apparently. Gotcha. And, <clears throat> and you're mine too. Not quite done, though. Now they appear. These two, I... Now things are spinning. Okay, I'm trying to... There we go. I don't think this gen can even see us. So, you can see me? Well, that may be, but you will never find my weakness. Yeah, I honestly, gonna be honest, I have never actually found how to beat these guys. Like, I've beaten them, but I've never figured out what it is that causes their heart to show. I think it's literally just waiting and then trying your luck or something. And... One suck! Get these pearls now. Alright. But yeah, I'm not a fan of the dancing couple. I don't actually remember their name, either. And now the key is mine. What door does this key unlock? It unlocks the one that's right there. How convenient. Hmm. The storage room. Hello, you. Ah, excuse me. Yeah, basically, if you shine your light on a ghost from too far away, they'll just disappear. If you shine them from close enough and then you don't suck them up quickly, they'll just start attacking you again. Give me that heart. Alright, back at the full. Oh, both of you. Why is my light suddenly aiming up? Get off me. Okay, come on. Just let me... Can I... I'm shining my light at you guys. I just want to grab you at least. Get you. And the purple punches should be a lot easier. Where are you? There you are. Okay, I... I'm starting to wonder just how glitchy this game is for me right now. After the stuff you've seen, you can't blame me for thinking that there's a lot of problems with it right now. I am playing on a GameCube, to be fair, as opposed to just the Wii, but... Hmm, you may wonder what you're doing here now. Hmm, there's something in that mirror. Don't push! What in the world is this? Hmm? No, not the broom! Something's been revealed over here. Danger. Danger, huh? Somehow, I don't trust you. I will push this button. Dry ice? Nope! Who's there? Who dares disturb our sleep? Oh, it's Luigi! Look, guys, Luigi's finally here. We're gonna do to you what we did to your brother. Only worse. What's on his back? It's Egad's Poltergeist 3000! Everybody scram! Oh. Luigi, are you okay? That was them. Those were the ones who released all the ghosts from the paintings in my gallery. Those fiends. I wondered where King Boo and his gang had gone. So, they were hiding in the mansion all along. Thanks for fleshing him out, Luigi. I'm tickled you found him, but perhaps it would have been better if you hadn't, well, let every single one escape. Just a thought. Ah, well, water under the bridge. Anyway, you should probably come back to the lab for a sec. I've been waiting for you, young Luigi. Your brother must have been taken by the gang of booze. Poor feller. Oh, now, don't talk crazy. They're not going to eat the man. What became of him, hmm? 
onto the Azing Combat. Common theory holds that Boos grow in strength when they travel in numbers. They must somehow combine their powers too. Their power likely overwhelmed your brother. If your aim is to save Mario, there's but one way to do it. Capture each Boo and slowly weaken the group's power. But Boos, as their name implies, like to hide and then jump out to scare people. You've got your work cut out finding him. <laughs> Don't get all down in the mouth, my boy. That Game Boy Horror I gave you has a secret function. I knew it would come in handy one day, so I developed it secretly. I call it the Boo Radar. The Boo Radar will flash red when something round like a Boo is hidden nearby. Use it to search everywhere, Luigi. Alright now, Sonny. Don't go tuckering yourself out. Relax and just try to get those Boos one at a time. The trick is using the controls to get the C-Stick together. Don't forget now. Where will you go, Luigi? Let's go to the mansion. We now have the task of capturing Boos. I'm gonna save real quick. A boo, there's a big boo flying around here. Be extra careful. Hmm. So there's boos around here that we're gonna have to catch now. And we should probably worry about that in the next episode. So, I've been Luigi, and I'll see you next time as we go boo hunting.